Hello. Oh, hello. Hi, Patrick. Can you hear us? <laughs> Kiana, how are you? I'm good. It's very nice to see Again, you. I'm glad you're doing well. Good night from Ireland, as I say. <laughs> It's night time. Good day from the USA. Did you watch the Euro um, I just watched the Euro Do you watch what's that? Did you watch the Eurovision Song Contest, Kiana? Did I do what? Did you watch the Eurovision Song Contest, the Eurovision? I didn't. Yeah, no. Well, that's nice, yeah. Oh, I'll have to look it up. Yeah, okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure that we're all connected okay. and everything's clear. I'll leave you and Jackie to it. I'll be back in 15 minutes. Okay, thanks, Kiana. Enjoy. <laughs> Patrick. Hi. Jacqueline, how are you? Last hi, nice hi, to you. Top of the morning to you. How are you going? Owen. It's the night. It's, it's night. Time I'm, I'm off to bed now soon, actually. I was, well, I was at a Eurovision party last night. I'm a bit, a bit hungover as well, Jacqueline. <laughs> ah, that's all right. I'm very happy with the hangover. Yeah. Um, yeah. How was the Eurovision Song Contest? It was okay. I wasn't happy with the winner, actually. It was I think Italy won. There was a lot of controversy. I think the, the best song didn't win, but the UK didn't do very well. Ireland, of course, didn't qualify for the final. It's very political. Australia were actually in the contest as well, but they didn't qualify actually either. Because Australia yes. didn't con contest, but they didn't qualify this year at all. Jackie didn't actually either, didn't. So it's yeah. I don't know. It's I think it's just it's oh it's it was it was, well at least they got the show done this year and that was the main thing because last year was cancelled because of because of COVID like you know I think last year was cancelled full stop pretty much everything. You're a Brennan, Jacqueline. Have you Irish ancestry? I do. Yes, really? Brennan. Yes, yeah. and we, um, we I, Brennan's Brennan's bread here as well is very popular in Ireland. It is. What what's that? Brennan's bread. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I've never been to Ireland. I really, really want to go. I'm going to come over for the Screen Star in March. Oh, yeah, I so go to that. I go into that in Birmingham. I am. Yeah. Awesome. I'll get to meet you then. See you there. Yeah. What part of Ireland are your are your family from? Do you, do you know? I have no idea. I thought that might be a bit of fun to investigate. I think yeah. my brother has done the ancestry, but I haven't. I haven't found out yet. Uh, where in Australia? I live in Melbourne. I grew Melbourne. up in Queensland, so I grew up in Brisbane. All right. Then Sydney for a long time, and now Melbourne. Yeah. I was I lived there in 2015. There was Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, and Queensland and Canberra. I did a tour of the country. Oh wow! So you yeah. just toured around? Were you working? Yeah. Or? I was working for a while. I was there for the year. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, what were you doing? Well, basically everything. And I was living in Sydney for a while. I was doing fruit picking in Bundaberg, and oh, wow. you know. Yeah, <laughs> not yeah. a nice experience though, um, ja um, Jack, you know. No, <laughs> and it would have been really hot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll get down to Wentworth anyway. I'm Linda Miles. She's just, I think she's a character that's very untrustworthy, she is. That's not very nice of you, Patrick. <laughs> but you know what I mean, like, you know? Yeah, she's very she's... much for herself. Yeah. And of course, she seems, un she seems unhappy as well and scheming sometimes. We haven't kind of really gotten the real kind of story of her background because she more or less is kind of a supporting kind of you know, supporting character like in the series for the last for the last eight series as well, you know? Yes, yes, which is extremely frustrating. <laughs> but um, you have you have a you have a job, of course. Well, you, you, you have you've had a job for the last eight years of the show. That, that's the main thing, yeah. like, you know, and you yeah, recognize as being on the first day. I was yeah, there. yeah. Well, yeah, you're the, you're the original cast member now, aren't you? <laughs> I am. There's four of us. Yeah. Kate, Atkinson, Robbie, myself, and Katrina. Yeah. It's great. I love the show. I love it. I've watched all of the eight series of it, like, you know, too. Like, you know. Awesome. Yeah. And we're, we're in the final series now, the last one. We are. And I yeah. think, I, they haven't told us, but it must be in the next couple of months, because I, I feel like it's amping up. Kate Jenkinson was on here last week, guys. She said it, she, they, they're thinking it's, it's soon enough it is anyway, like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so... Yeah. What did you think of, so what's been your favourite series? I think season two when B escaped um, that time from the prison, that was the, the good one. That was a good season actually was. And of yeah. course, when Pamela Ray arrived that season as well, that yes. was another good one too, like, you know, too. Yeah. So, no, season, season three B escaped, wasn't it? <clears throat> she escaped in season three. I season really two. Remember. I'm season forgetting two again. is when Pam came on board, I know that. Mm. Yeah, I think it was the end of season two. She escaped after the first season because it was um, Braden Holt who killed Debbie and then sec <clears throat> second right. series then, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And then season three is the full sort of... Um, yeah. Clash I have again. it all on DVD. I have it all on DVD. I've watched it all. I love it all all the time. Like, you know, it's... Oh, uh, that's good. Are you going to be sad when it's over? I will, yeah, I will be, yeah. But it's, it's a great show and you must be very lucky to work with these great actors like a family now for yourself as well, Jacqueline. Absolutely. I've learned so yeah. much. I feel quite privileged when you're mm -hmm. doing the read through and looking around the table and there's all these amazing women from 16 to 60 
<laughs> you have like Chris McQuaid, Danielle Cormack, you've had Pamela Rabe, you have Susie Porter, you have Leah Purcell. Okay, Jenkins, I could go on, couldn't I? Like, you know, and you yourself. could. Yeah. Yes, no, I feel very privileged. And it's it's also very rare in television that you have so many women as leads. Usually mm. it's a lot of men and a couple of women. So it's actually been really good to have that many strong women, you mm -hmm. know, on set. Mm -hmm. And like, you were in the movie Babe. You did voices for the movie Babe. I was a little mouse. I oh! said, I said the pig goes to market. Um, oh! <laughs> I was in, a, I was in a three girl singing group called the Harlets, and so they got us in to do. So originally the mice just sang, mm -hmm. and then they did a test screening. And you remember when it came up, the it would say the pig goes to market. Yeah, there was exactly. A dialogue behind that. So all, very, all you would yeah. hear were all the kids going, Mum, what does that say? So they got us in to do all the, the pig goes to market. And, and then it was a great ca up. great movie. That was the first movie I actually watched in the cinema as a child. Oh, really? Yeah. Such a good film. I, I, I love that I'm in that. Matt Dzesbanski, like it was a very good, did very well actually at the Oscar. It was Oscar nominated, it was too, like the, the movie. Like it was based on the book from Dick, Dick King Smith the first time. Yes, yeah. 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 No, I, I, that was a really good one to be involved in. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, do, do, do you remember the season two? I think it was season one. Was there season, yeah, season one. Do you remember um, when um, Linda got off with um, Fletch that time? Yes. Yeah. yeah. She was really bitch. She always hated, um, she always hated, um, what's her name again? Oh, God, I forget. Vera, Vera. She always hated Vera, didn't she, so much? Herself and Vera have never kind of gone out of there, though. No, they were friends. Remember in yeah. sort of series one, they were friends. It was always a bit awkward. And then yeah. um, Vera invented her boyfriend. And I think Linda was a bit disillusioned after that with her. But she does get away with lots of stuff in the, in the, the prison. She, I mean, you see her as well, like, I mean, conning the people and taking their money. I mean, that's, you know, that's going on a lot. Like, would she, I wonder what she's going to come up with at the end, I wonder, of this series. I'm thinking, like, is it Linda's turn not to kind of finally get what's going to her like, in some ways? Like, you know. We'll see. We'll see. Patrick, okay. Yeah, I'm um, so looking forward to season nine. Like it's going to be a brilliant. One's going to be. I tell you, there's so much that happens in in the last season. You're just yeah. going to have to hang on, hold on for the ride. <laughs> and your husband as well. He was on the show too. He was. Yes, so he was Detective Collins. He was the um, the detective who uh, investigated Ferguson's disappearance. All so right. he and a female officer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so, was, it, was that good to have your husband on board too, working with him? It was. Well, we didn't actually work together that much, but um, yeah, I sat next to him at lunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think it was I read was doing either once he um, you proposed or he proposed to you over bread and butter pudding. Uh, no, he said if I made him a bread and butter pudding, made, he made him a bread and butter pudding. Oh, that's very romantic. Very. So I made very... him a bread and butter pudding. Very nice. Very nice. Very good. <laughs> yes, we've been together a long time now. We've been. Nice. We've met, and he did it in two thousand and one. You mentioned it, we met on a play with Jackie Weaver, was it, in it, yes? Yes, yeah. She's a very, I love, she's a very good it. actress. She's a very good actress. She's, I love Jackie oh, Weaver. Awesome, and she's one of the naughtiest people you'll ever meet. Have you seen the movie she did last year with the drags, with, with, the, with her son you know, the, um, in America? No, I want to. What's, What's it called? called again? Oh, my God. Stage Mother. Um, Stage Mother. No, actually, I'm going to write that down. I really do want to see that. Stage Mother. She, she, goes, yeah. to, um, she goes from Alabama to San Francisco. Her son dies. He... He inherits the bar like in the the movie and she has to take the bar actually over and she's finding it very difficult and then she gets the because she's kind of very kind of you know in her own she's very kind of bigoted in her own way because she's from that part of america and then she brings people in from her i think it's alabama or some part some rural part of america to san francisco they set up the whole um the bar and they do ads acts and stage it's very good it actually is though jackie though it's um like you know to watch you, you should see sometime i definitely will Stage yes. Mother. I think it's on, as far as it could be on Netflix. It's on Netflix. Is it? I think Netflix or, Netflix or Amazon Prime, one of those anyway, Jackie. Yeah. Ah, I've, I've written that down, so I remember. Have you watched anything else recently? I've been watching an Australian series called Wakefield, which I really enjoyed. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I, I watch MasterChef. I'm addicted All right. to MasterChef. Oh, really, I love yeah. it so much. Mm -hmm. um, I, I keep sitting there going, come on, Jackie, you should be watching a drama, you should be watching a comedy, but I'm like, I've just been watching MasterChef. And are you working now since, since Man Birds, the, the end? Yes, I've got a, I've just finished an animated series called Big Words, Small Stories, which is really cute. Um, and in two weeks, I'm going to Sydney to do a film, which I'm really oh, excited nice. about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll be there for a few weeks for shooting. So I'm really looking forward to that. That's and I'm looking like, forward yeah. to coming to the UK if all goes well. 
in March, yeah. Because they were, they're meant to have Kate Jenkinson coming, but she's cancelled, so they're bringing in instead, aren't they, as well for that? Yes. Yeah. That's okay, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, brilliant. Oh, I love that. That's why I said I'm going to book it because Jackie's going to be there. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to that. So they're just lovely gonna... guys. They're lovely guys, Barry and Paul, and the other the, all the guys on screen. Star I events. met them when they were out here. Yeah, pre-COVID, which was really good. I met quite a few. There were about mm. twenty, I think, traveling mm. with them. And you're coming with Kate and Pamela, yes? Uh, yes, and Tammy. Oh, and Tammy McIntosh. Oh yeah, yes. Very good. All the foodies. <laughs> so we're all foodies. So we can wine and dine. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a very difficult year. Like, you know, I mean, I know in Australia you have a kind of, you know, nails to some extent, the coronavirus, but over here, we're just kind of getting back to normality now. I'm back to work this week, you know, to my job. It's the, the city, I'm in Dublin, like, you know, too. It's kind of, it's opening up at the moment, but there's still a long way to go. There is Jackie, too, like, you know, as well. Yeah. So are you getting to go to pubs and catch up with mates or? There's a, there's a few um, click and collect, uh, but nothing can, or you, or you can drink outside in some places, but you can't really. You know, it's gonna. We're waiting for a while to get um, for the pubs to open as well, like in restaurants, like you know. You so must miss that. I do, yeah. And you miss the theater. You miss the cinema. The simple little things you want to do, Jacqueline, yeah. out there, you know, too. Like, so it's yeah. It's just it's a long time waiting for it. Like it's one of those. It's one of those things, Jack. You can never see ever happening in life. You never think this would ever yeah. actually ever happen. You know? It's surreal, isn't it? I, it is. I was saying when we were shooting the last season of um, Wentworth, we were in lockdown with curfew. Mm -hmm. So, and we were doing night shoots and I'd come home at 11 o'clock at night and I was pulled over twice and had to show yeah. my papers, mm -hmm. which is actually quite surreal. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just... But well, you, you had to kind of finish up, the, you had to finish up the filming of it very quickly, didn't you, as well, the last series of two, didn't you? We, of, of COVID. we got to complete. So we, yeah. we weren't rushing. We got to do it the way we wanted to yeah, do exactly. it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. We were one of the few... Uh, television shows actually still shooting neighbors and us and i think wakefield because they they could do they could they're in blue mountains so they could isolate kind of thing all right yeah so it was we were really lucky you know mm -hmm. and all our theater mates have haven't worked for a long time you know, mm. all of that's just starting to come back. We've got Harry Potter started again here. Pamela Ray was doing some few plays, isn't she, in Sydney, isn't she, Pamela? Yes, yeah, so uh, Cherry Orchard. She's in the Cherry Orchard in Sydney. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so hopefully I feel like we're on the right, on the way back, although we mm. are coming into winter, but we've got vaccines now, so okay. I'm going to get vaccinated. Okay, so week. describe Linda Miles so in, five, in, in, in five words, if you can. <laughs> <laughs> Duplicitous uh complicated um tortured um sarcastic um lonely yeah i think so she is one of those we haven't yeah she's kind of all those words you kind of described yeah yeah mm -hmm, yeah i think you know you wonder if she you know had a I, i've always imagined she hasn't had a partner for a long time and that mm -hmm. her gambling was the reason that she split up from her relationship. Mm -hmm. um, I've always written in my mind that she was a teacher and just sort of with her gambling, lost the house, lost the marriage, and then went to become a prison officer. But that's pretty much all she's got. It's just the prison and gambling. She has great power though inside and went, doesn't she though? She really has, when you look at her, she can be very kind of like, you know, so much control over the women as well. Sometimes we can kind of see that yeah. You know, too. Yeah. So it's, well, that's that real status thing because her status is higher because she can go, she can leave, she can bring things in. Mm -hmm. yeah, she has a lot more power over them. I think she, they wanted to become governor as well at one point. What's that? They wanted to become governor at one point as well. Yeah. Well, who says she does Okay, okay, we have a bit of a there, so okay, right. Yeah, I'm not saying we anything have to wait and see, yeah. <laughs> it's like we're waiting a lifetime for the last season to come in, actually, as well now, you know, too, like, you know. What's that? Sorry, Patrick? It's, it's, it's like we're waiting such a long time now for the last season to come on, on our know. streets. Yeah. I know, you'll have to sort of do a quick catch-up to try and remember where you're at. All right, yeah, because you, you, kind of, you can kind of forget, too, like, for the pre previous seasons as well, like, you know. Yes, well, this you definitely need to have a quick catch up on eight A because eight B literally yeah. runs straight on from that. And of course, Risha's evolved too. Of course, you know, too she must be Risha. Isn't the series a lot, Leah? Yes, I yeah. love the character of Rita, Rita the yeah. Beta. Were you yeah. a Prisoner fan? I didn't kind of watch Prisoner Style Blockage because it was a bit before my time. But I loved, I love yeah. Wentworth, of course. Like, but I know, of course, of B, like you know, two and all the other characters in that show, like as well, like you know, two and all the actresses as well, like you know, too. 
who would ever have imagined that you could have a reimagining of Prisoner and it would be such a hit? Mm-hmm. Which you never know as well, Jackie. In time to come, they might bring Wentworth back again, like in 10 years' time, as though with all of you as cast as, again. You never know. Well, I'm, I'm up for Wentworth the musical. Exactly. And that's a very good idea, that actually is. That would be very good, wouldn't it, though? That's, that's a very <laughs> yeah. good idea. Yeah. Or even I just think- a telly movie, some sort of a movie, Wentworth movie. Yeah, that would oh, be good. I don't, I don't think it's dead and buried. Who knows? I don't think so. Something. No, it's it might be locked, but not bolted. Kind of really, it will say kind of like you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. anyway, um, Jackie. Before we head up, just best of luck anyway with your acting career. Anyway, thank you, Patrick, and I look forward to meeting you in March. In March next year, and you know we'll look forward to the last season of Wentworth. It'll be good. Yeah. Thank you so much, Patrick. Absolutely joyous to meet you. I come to Ireland sometimes to meet your Brennan ancestors as well. I will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. All the best. Have a good night. Thanks, Patrick. See you soon.